Hey guys, Nind here again, and welcome back to episode 2 of CBBE 101 Projects and Conversions. Uh, we'll be going over setting up the Outfit Studio project today and a couple basics of the UI. Pardon the noise of the lawnmower outside, nothing much I can do about that, but hopefully you still find this video informative. So to start a new project in Outfit Studio, you just go to File New, as with most programs, and then depending on if you want physics or not, hopefully you know what physics means, uh, you normally either start with the CBBE body or the HDT body, if you don't know the type of body that's already being used on the project. In this case, like we discussed earlier, the body in question is non-standard, so we're going to use the regular HDT body and then we'll customize it to make a conversion in a future video. The next thing you want to do is decide what kind of naming standard or convention you want to use on this project. That way all of the things that need to be built in body slide stick together. So like usual, I'll start with this. I don't think there's anything else on there. Archmage armor. So we'll just add that at the end. And so to keep everything on the list together in body slide, you probably want to start all of your names and all of the subcomponents of this project with this same prefix. It doesn't hurt if you do the same thing for your slider group, slider set file as well. The next step is to select the mesh that's going to be inside of this body slide project. So in this case, we will start with the body. So you just navigate yourself towards the actual mesh location within the Skyrim data folder. And what this does is it creates, it tells body slide the location to put the resulting zero and one or low and high weight meshes respectively when it builds the mesh. So first thing we'll start with out of the two things we're actually going to be working with is the outfit. So we'll just select the outfit go to finish. Make sure that you actually have selected and copied this because what we're going to do is go through and set up the project for all of the pieces first and then go back and convert them. Alright, so we're good to go here. So when you're saving a project, there's a couple things you need to pay attention to on here. If you started the new project the same way we just discussed, then these two sections should be fine. Up here, you need to actually finish the name of this particular body slide file, though. So, in this case, we're going to say CBBE Archmage Armor Body, and then make sure to name it the same thing or something unique down here as well. This will be the source body slide NIF file. These two will stay the same. This is the name of the actual body slide project, the OSP file. And this is going to be the name of the folder in the shape data body slide folder where all of these body slide meshes are going to be deposited. In this case, since there's going to be a reference body inside of this thing, we need to keep the, me the reference shape. So we'll leave this checked and then we'll press save. Now for the next piece, same process. And in this case, we are not going to need the body inside of it because it's just an extra piece that goes on top of the main armor. And with that, our project is now set up and we're good to go. Join me back for episode three, where we start to work on the body and make our custom conversion body shape.